Right then, hello, good evening, and welcome aboard, everybody. Hello, wherever you are and whatever it happens to be. My name is Paul. I'm just going to draw out a slightly sweaty can of drink. Uh, it's a popular, well-known fizzy can of fizzy bark that I'm drying off because it's wet. Not that that's any kind of endorsement. At any rate, good morning, everybody. Hello, wherever you are. My name is Paul. I'm also called Knickknack, and I am the brains behind Knickknack's daily teaser. A fun, hopefully fun, daily brain teaser quiz. If you're watching this video version, you're watching it on Knickknack's old peculiar, my blog, or on my YouTube channel, Mr. Cuddy2977. That was my phone beeping, not the YouTube channel. If you are at Mr. Cuddy297 at YouTube, please feel free to hit like, hit dislike if you have to, hit the share button, but please, please, please hit subscribe. That way, when I release today's answers tomorrow, you get to hear about them first. At any rate, it's the 26th of October, it's 2020, and we have five whole questions about this day in history. Let's uh, kick off. But at any rate, let's have those questions. Question one. 500 years ago today, 26th of October 1520, saw Charles V crowned as what? Kaiser, Holy Roman Emperor, or Shogun? Question 2. 26th of October 1919, saw the birth of Mohammed Reza Pahlavi, who was crowned as Shah of Iran on the 26th of October of which era the 1960s? Question. Three, Seth MacFarlane was born on the 26th of October, 1973. He created the Griffin family and their dog, Brian. For which series? Question four. Question four. 26th of October, 1951, saw the birth of keyboard player Tommy Mars. For many years, he played with which Zed's touring band? Finally, <coughs> excuse me, finally, question five, 26th of October 1946, saw the birth of transgender actress Holly Woodall. She got a mention in which Lou Reed song? Possibly the best known thing he ever wrote, if that's any clue. That's today's questions, yesterday's answers, one, 1415, two, Henry V, um, and as Edith, as you and my mum are new to this, just so you know, the usual convention is that the current monarch of a given name, or the current pope, offices like that, they'll have an Arabic regnal number, uh, like a normal everyday number, to tell you who they are. Um, and predecessors with the same name use Roman numerals. So the UK's current queen, for example, is Elizabeth II, with a, a number two. Number two. But her predecessor with the same name, the Tudor Queen, Elizabeth I, uses Elizabeth I. I tend to prefer to use Arabic numerals in the written version, purely and simply because that makes it a lot easier to read them. At any rate, question three. The forces were led by Charles I d'Avrette, who was the constable of France, four, uh, Pas de Calais, five, finally, the 100 Years' War. Right, that's today's questions and yesterday's answers. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you'd like to have a go as well. If you do, please remember, I can't afford to hang out prizes as much as I'd love to give everybody a, a free T-shirt. Um, but I do like to encourage people to do this purely for fun, purely for mental exercise, for enjoyment. If you do want to have a go, please feel free, but remember, I need to see your answers on Knickknacks or Peculiar itself on today's Daily Teaser post. Excuse me. To get there, click on the link under this video, or as it goes past on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And once you get to the desktop version, the desktop version, mind, um, I need to see you here. Post a comment, fill in your answers, leave me your name on a social media link, hit, leave me a message as well to say hello, introduce yourself, tell us about how your morning is going. Click on publish. Come back tomorrow, I'll have things moderated by about half nine, ten o'clock. We can see how you've done. 
have fun, take care, be good, and um, don't fall over. Have a good day.